Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. Uh, so this is not really a shop update video. This is just a, just a video to let you know what I'm doing. Uh, so I'll pan around here in a few minutes, but you know, uh, for those of you guys who've been with me for a while and watched me dry my, uh, my uh, shop in, you realize that I had tons and tons and tons and tons of crap everywhere, right? And it's really not got much better other than this corner that I work out of all the time that you see me video in for when I'm working on uh, the lathe or, or showing something on my little bench or, or whatever. But the rest of the shop is just really a huge disaster. So I have a, uh, you know, I need to clean it up. I, it's, it's not functional the way it is. Um, I can't move around much and I got to move crap all the way and this and that. And I'm going to pan around and show you. But, um, I did get uh, some cabinets, some uh, shelving uh, shells from uh, a, a hospital that was throwing them out that was originally used to hold uh, radiology films. Well, the hospital's all digital now, and they, you know, and as the films uh, cycle out of, uh, uh, out of the necessity of storing them, um, and the silver is reclaimed from them, these shells that they use that they put these films on are slowly emptying out. So I think I'm going to have four of them in total. They're 18 inches deep. They're uh, three feet wide and about seven foot tall. So I'll have four of those and then I got another uh, metal shelf that uh, was given to me and uh, and then some shelving I want to put down in my basement of uh, the shop here uh, where I have a little room framed out there that I store stuff in. So anyway, let me, uh, let me give you a um, a quick uh, quick view around uh, of the shop and it's a uh, I like to call it ground zero because it looks like something just blown up in here and then uh, as I progress I'll uh, I'll uh, take little videos of, of you know bringing some of the stuff in and maybe you know, showing you what I got so um, I'll uh, see you here shortly okay so um, I'm handheld here and if I get you dizzy and sick I'm really sorry but let me just kind of show you what I got here so that's my double doors coming in, my service panel. You notice that I still don't have that closed up because I still got work I want to do there. Here I got some uh, boxes and stuff that I put nuts and bolts in. I got a lot more of those boxes, but I think I'm going to put a shelf there. And then of course there's my grinder and toolbox and the shop porn hanging on the wall. But if we look down here, we'll see that you know, I got clamps and buckets of wire and there's scrap right there, brass and copper scrap. and there's some ceiling tiles and then you know you look down over here there's there's some stuff that needs to go down in the basement with the rest of my casting stuff there's a ham radio some painting supplies and just all kinds of miscellaneous junk and uh, there's my CNC machine and uh, if you follow me on Instagram you'll see a picture of the uh, sign that I recently cut out of course, over here I got a couple heavy-duty saw horses uh, with a uh, with a solid wooden door on here that I have the Burke mill uh, torn apart on that I've started um, wanting to uh, redo. And then here, if you look on this box, you'll see that there's the base of the Burke mill, and it's actually all done. I would have uh, shown this as the demonstration for my Burke, uh, you know, the process that I use. But uh, oddly enough, the base of the Burke mill is aluminum. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, did pick up a. Uh, part washer because uh, well washing stuff by hand kind of sucks so over here you know you, you, you're familiar with the lathe the drill press and then see I got stuff piled up over there stuff way back here and if we look you know there's table saw it's it's piled up and see I just got I just got junk everywhere now one man's trash is another man's treasure so it's my treasure but man I tell you what it's we're gonna have to neaten this up so um, when I get uh, the shelves in here, I think what I'm going to do, since I have four of these and they're 18 inches deep, three foot wide and seven foot tall, I want to put two of them back to back um, and uh, two of them side by side, you know, so that they're kind of clustered as a group of four, coming uh, right off of the wall, just there to the left of the drill press and coming out. So they'll come out to the floor about six feet and then I'll, I think I'll move my toolbox to sit on the end and then that way I've got you know um, I'll, I'll come out a total about eight feet of the 20 foot of width that I have in here so uh, when I get the cabinets in place and get some of it cleaned up I'll bring you back in okay guys I've been at it for a little while and uh, you remember I had uh, 
actually this little table here that's got the Burke stuff sitting on it was sitting there where I now have that cabinet. So it's a nice heavy duty cabinet. Now look, um, I got a lot of flammables on there. That is not where my flammables go. I have another cabinet for it, for them, but they're, uh, uh, it's a little buried. So let me take you over here to this next place where I was talking about these um, radiology cabinets and, and um, I'm sort of stumped. Maybe you guys can help me out here. Okay, so this is one of the cabinets that I got and I got three more of these coming. Now this is 18 inches deep, 36 uh, inches wide, and uh, about seven foot tall. And they have these dividers and, and if you look here, these are several of them that I took out but maybe you could see at this angle, I left the ones in the center. So what I'm thinking is, and this is where maybe you guys can throw me some suggestions because I don't get these other three cabinets uh, until Monday. I was thinking about putting uh, one there and one right behind it, okay? Uh, so the shelves are facing the other side and then um, two more to this, to this end, right? So in other words, a grouping of four cabinets, you know, sh so shelves on both sides and then extending out in into the shop. And then at the very end, I thought about putting my, my rolling uh, tool chest. Now, another option is, you know, I'm thinking if this is sort of my machine work area, I'll have to put islands out here for uh, like my drill press and milling machine so that I can better utilize these shelves. And that's not a big deal. The other um, thought that I had was I can take this blue cabinet that you see in the corner and it's uh, 18 inches deep about 24 26 inches wide and about seven foot tall and that's my that's what I normally keep my flammables in and move it over here so that it's sitting where this cabinet is right and then uh, turn this cabinet around and butt it up against it so that the shelves are facing this side of the room and put two of them out and then take the other two and butt them on the wall there. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just post this video um, just like, like I said, so you guys could see what I'm doing and whatnot and tell me what you think. Would it be better to stick all four out on an island um, or to uh, make sort of an L shape and then see that would give me, if I turn these cabinets around, the, this side here would be the flat side of both cabinets. Sorry about that. The flat side of both of these cabinets. So it doesn't really matter to me. I, uh, I just need to utilize my space and, and uh, get some stuff for storage. So tell me what you think. Okay guys, I'm gonna apologize for the horrible lighting. This is the very first time I've ever tried to use uh, OBS uh, or o o Open Broadcasting Studio. Uh, it's free software, by the way, and uh, it's pretty interesting. If you're not uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, it's used primarily for uh, streaming, but it's good, you know. They say to make recordings on, so I'm gonna try to record my desktop with it and see what happens. All right, so when I was in the shop, <clears throat> I wasn't really clear. I don't think you could visualize, or I would have a hard time visualizing what I was saying. So if we look here, this represents um, the shop. Over here would be my lathe and the drill press, and, you know, my workbench. But anyway, I was talking about putting these four cabinets, and these these four cabinets are, are here, and so you see there's two side by side, and back to back, and then this cabinet over here represents my volatile cabinet. So this was the first way I was thinking about putting it in there, and, uh, and then moving my um, toolbox uh, over here on the end. Um, and then, you know, the only drawback to that is that to really use these shelves like this here, you know, I would need to make sure that like my milling machine or maybe the drill press was pulled away from it just so that I can get to them. All right, so let me, uh, let me rearrange these cabinets to the uh, other layout I was talking about and uh, take a look at that. Okay, so the other option would have been uh, to move my little blue cabinet that was sitting up here in the corner out so that you know the doors face here over toward the lathe and and put my volatiles in there and then since those are roughly the same size put two cabinets side to side here with the shelves on this side and then you know but the other two cabinets along the wall here um, and then of course that would leave 
you know, a flat side here and I could set something up against the cabinet. So anyway, that's that's kind of my options. Now remember I have a, uh, there's a, a, there's a window here obviously. I'm not drawing this thing to uh, any specific scale or anything. But then right here along this side here, you know, I have the, uh, I have the countertop with the uh, uh, cabinets underneath it and CNC machines that's over here. So those are those are kind of like the two options I'm looking at. So uh, you guys tell me what do you think? Um, wh which one do you think would be a little more functional or a little better uh, for use? Uh, or do you have other ideas? I mean, you guys have seen the uh, disaster that I call my uh, shop. And then another thing is, um, what do you guys think about OBS? And and uh, for those of you guys that watch uh, some of my tutorials. Would this be a better way to present uh, tutorials uh, and that sort of thing? Um, and uh, and have any of you guys used OBS? You know, that's kind of a question I got. So anyway, get back with me. And uh, so other than that, um, let's uh, let's get back to the video and and uh, we'll finish this thing up. So uh, hey, look, if you enjoy watching these videos or whatever, uh, uh, share and or maybe subscribe or tell your friends. Another than that, have a blessed day.